Hi, this is E.T. Vegans, carnivores, and omnivores tell us what to eat, but they leave out what may be as important, and that is how to eat. Now, that's been shown by science, also understood for millennia by the ancients, to be essential for general health. This here is Horace Fletcher. For much of the first half of the 20th century, famous worldwide as an expert on dietetics. He promoted Fletcherizing, or, or rather mastication, of your food. That means thoroughly chewing. His motto, the more you chew, the less you eat. Fletcher wrote a lot of books, translated into many languages. They include Nature's Food Filter, Fletcherism, What Is It?, and Menticulture, which was mind over matter, that one never caught on. Earlier, around the last decade of the 19th century, Fletcher had gotten both rich as a California art dealer, and he got fat. He weighed over 300 pounds, that's 137 kilos. But by chewing each mouthful of food 32 times, he dropped his body weight, he cured his diabetes, he was able to increase strength and endurance, which, by the way, he demonstrated at Cambridge and Yale and elsewhere by successfully competing against young athletes. That was in both strength and endurance exercise. Fletcher's reasoning about chewing went like this. If the foods were not chewed or masticated into liquid, then the solids would enter the digestive system, bacteria would transform them into poison, and the result would be a shorter life. Now, the science does not necessarily back that up. It can, however, be shown that slow eating leads to ingestion of fewer calories and maybe a better absorption of nutrients and maybe a weight drop. The body requires about 20 minutes between the taking in of food and any decrease in hunger. But there is a problem here, because by eating less in that one meal, you get hungrier earlier. Whether or not mastication leads to longevity has yet to be proved. Fletcher himself lived to only age 69, but it should be noted that he'd recently finished a long fast during which he had very few bowel movements, attributed, he said, to perfect digestion. Also, he'd quit eating nutritious meat. And consider this. Much earlier in life, he was grossly obese. That was well into retirement. He had a dramatic weight loss. Also, for 58 days, he ate only potatoes. All of these things could have led to permanent immune system damage. He died of bronchitis. Whatever. Fletcherism for decades was practiced by average people around the world, and it was endorsed by many scientists. During World War I, Fletcher was appointed by Herbert Hoover to be food economist for the relief of starving people in Belgium. Living as we do in the information age, we have access to everything, but we remember nothing. And so it was for the man who once the whole world knew, but is now forgotten, Horace Fletcher. For more information regarding Horace Fletcher, see Dr. Gabe Merkin's excellent article. I'll post the URL in the comment section below. This is E.T. Put your comments below and do subscribe. Also, please post this video elsewhere and hit the like or dislike button.